I have always loved uh, to be creative, but I haven't always honored that creativity within myself. I spent many years working in the business world and denying that creativity. So a little over a decade ago, I wanted to reassess why it was that I left behind that wonderful thing within myself and finally decided to let that come out. And so I started painting again and really exploring the wide range of things that I have to say through the visual arts. And what I found was that there's an amazing community out there. And once you start meeting and talking with other artists, the possibilities are just endless. It's so exciting. And so from there, I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great if I could have a place where I went every day and could have that energy around me? And so I thought, wow, let's use those business skills, create a business like the studio door and have artists who are working there, sharing ideas and growing together. And it's been so rewarding. For 2021, the gallery is really interested in exploring local sculptors. And this piece right here is part of a wonderful exhibition we have right now with Julia S. Razor. It's kind of like we have a sort of storyline of her creativity with realistic works all the way to her more abstract current pieces. So what can happen here is this piece will become a sculpture in bronze, our bioplastics, or even mixed media. But this is the core work of the artist to create that before it becomes a mold at the foundry. Crows are seen all over the world, except maybe Antarctica. And every culture has its own special relationship with the crow. Sometimes they're harbingers of evil or death, and sometimes they're messengers from the gods. And uh, we love to see the wide expression of ideas that artists create for the Crow Show every year. This piece is by Debbie Corbell. And not only do we have a wonderful crow made out of mixed media here, uh, we also have other sculptures by her as part of our celebration of sculpture. One of the things I really love is that as you walk into the gallery, you'll often find more traditional works. So for people who are looking for something in their home or their office, they're gonna find something there that's gonna meet their taste. But as you go farther back, it gets a lot more edgy and creative. And so those pieces are for people who are more excited about the arts and what artists are doing for personal expression.